What's going on you guys? Matthew here back with another video and recently I fell victim to Samsung's black screen of death. So if you didn't know there is an ongoing issue with a lot of phones especially Samsung phones also known as the black screen of death where basically what happens is you use your phone normally and all of a sudden your phone turns off the screen turns black and you can't do anything about it so this is my samsung galaxy a71 which is just a two-year-old phone and as you can see whatever i do i can't turn it on i tried to soft reset it and i tried to remove the sim card tray and put it back in but it just wouldn't work i after i hold down the power down key and power key all that happens is that it vibrates but apart from that it won't turn on i took it to the samsung store and they said that they can't do anything about it anymore so i just lost my phone as well as all of my files in here i have probably 50 videos in this phone that i haven't uploaded yet which is very unfortunate so um, my main priority here is not the phone but the files in the phone so hopefully I'll be able to retrieve my files back. So what I decided to do was buy a new phone. Now, to be fair, Samsung does make very good phones. However, this didn't just happen to my Samsung A71. It also happened to my mom's Samsung S8 Plus last year. So it's not only me that fell victim to the black screen of death, but also my mom. And after some careful deliberation, I decided that I will no longer buy Samsung phones. Instead, I bought something that is very hard to find here in the Philippines, and that is the Google Pixel. I initially wanted to buy the Google Pixel 6, but unfortunately, it's not available um, in a lot of stores that we went to. The only one that I can find available is the Pixel 6a which is actually last year's um, phone. There's already a Google Pixel 7 as well as a Google Pixel 7 Pro. However, it was released around a month ago, so it's still not available here in the Philippines. And the Google Pixel 6 and 6a, as well as the 6 Pro, drastically dropped down in price since the release of the Google Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. Like what I said, I wanted to buy the Google Pixel 6, but since it wasn't available, I decided to go with the Google Pixel 6a, and I was able to buy the shock color Google Pixel 6a from Game uh, Extreme, located in SM South Mall in Las Piñas City, and I was able to buy it for 26,990 pesos, or basically 27,000 pesos. And I also got a free google pixel buds with it but here is the google pixel 6a let's now open it okay there we go so here is the phone so just to be clear, I already tested this phone out at the store to make sure that it works properly. Anyway, here it is. So this is the chalk color. As you can see, this part is white while this part is gray. So it's a two-tone color. The only color they had available is chalk and as well as the black one. So I got the chalk one. Let's peel this off. So apart from the phone, it also comes with a USB-C to USB-C um, charging cable. And as you can clearly see, the Google Pixel 6a does not come with a power brick, but it does come with a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. It also comes with a USB-A to USB-C adapter. It also comes with a SIM ejector tool. And inside of this box, we have the manual and the warranty card. It's actually very difficult to buy the Google Pixel here in the Philippines. 
so it took us a really long time to find it but anyway here is the phone so I already set it up a while ago in the store so the Google Pixel 6a has 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage and it also has the Google Tensor uh, chipset while well, for its cameras it has a 12 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilization as well as a 12 megapixel ultra wide well right over here is the LED flash well for the front camera I'm not quite sure whether it comes with an 8 or 12 megapixel front camera but over here is the uh, in display fingerprint scanner and the thing that I love about Google Pixel is that it runs stock Android so there's no bloatware which makes it really fast despite having only 6 gigabytes of RAM now it doesn't have a high refresh rate screen at only 60 Hertz unlike the Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro which has a high refresh 90 Hertz display but I'm okay with this it has an average sized 6.1 inch display and the display is already AMOLED which is great which is pretty much the norm in phones these days I'm not quite sure what the size of the battery is but the great thing about this phone is that Google pixels are known for having great cameras the hardware is not that great as other phones have 108 megapixel cameras but what's great about this is computational photography and the software that's built into the phone with Google's Tensor chipset makes this one of the best if not the best camera um, for taking pictures for this price range which is absolutely great considering um, this phone costs 26,990 pesos and it already comes with the Google Pixel Buds. So the main reason why I bought this is really for the camera. But let's now unbox the Google Pixel Buds. Okay, so here it is. Let's now open it. There we go. So here is the beautiful Google Pixel Buds. Now the fact of the matter is, if you buy the Google Pixel Buds separately, it costs 5,500 pesos. So the fact that they gave it for free is insane. So let's take off the plastic. Here it is. So, my first impressions are very good. The shape looks very comfortable. And there's this thing here that prevents it from slipping out of your ears. So, let me actually try putting it in my ear to see how it feels. So far, it's very comfortable. And it comes in this beautiful case underneath we have this USB A to USB C charging cable as you can see it also comes with the warranty card and instruction manual and over here are The spare buds so I believe the one pre-installed is the medium and they also give you a pair of the small and large as well so overall the Google pixel buds look great they're not my favorite design I do prefer the design of the airpods 
but overall it's free so I'm not complaining and they're very comfortable though and how do I put it back on alright so it took me quite a while to put it back in I realized I put it the wrong way in but anyway the case looks very good as well however I do prefer the airpods case over this case but overall it's great so I haven't used this phone for a long time I've only used it for about half an hour in the store but so far it looks great it's very fast it has very little bloatware as it runs stock Android I like the software of it and what's great is the camera I've tried the camera a bit and it's amazing but the great thing about it are the features like magic eraser which allows you to remove things that you don't like in a picture now unfortunately the Google Pixel 6a unlike the Google Pixel 6 doesn't come with long exposure and action pan mode now long exposure is a great thing to have however action pan is more of a gimmick than something that's actually really useful however it would have been great if we had long exposure mode on this phone unfortunately we don't have that but it does come with night mode as a lot of phones do and they call it night sight on google there's also portrait mode and the great thing about this phone is that it does night sight and portrait mode not only on the rear cameras but also on the front cameras it has slow motion and time lapse just like other phones and the fact of the matter is this is only one of few phones that has optical image stabilization for the price point and something that's also not present in other phones is photosphere which allows you to take 360 degree pictures which is a very unique feature of the Google Pixel 6 so overall um, quite honestly I have lost faith in Samsung phones and I am definitely no longer gonna use any other Samsung phones as I believe it's not worth risking uh, all of my files and I decided to switch to the Google Pixel 6 instead but anyway, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget, guys, to drop a big thumbs up for this video and subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video.